What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a tweak called Call Bar. Now this tweak is going to allow you to continue doing what you're doing while you get a phone call, so it's going to be much less obtrusive. As you can see here, if I go ahead and call my phone, you'll see exactly what Call Bar does. Alright, so you can see I just get a banner up here at the top, and I also have a answer or decline button. So if I just want to decline it, then you just tap decline, and then the call is missed. Now there's actually quite a few options that you can go through here and mess with. Now this is going to work with outgoing calls as well, and you can mess with that in the settings too. So let's jump into the settings here, and I'll show you everything that there is to offer with Call Bar. So here you have the kill switch to enable or disable Call Bar. And down here you can use it not only for your phone, but for FaceTime as well. You can toggle those on and off, and you can use call bar for outgoing calls as well which is what I was just talking about now down here you have a choice to what you want to do on the lock screen you can either use the buttons which basically is what I just showed you or you can use the full screen caller image which is basically just the default of what you usually see so it's going to be a full screen with the answer and decline down here and message and all that good stuff so you can toggle that on as well now here for the general settings you can reply with a message and you can actually make uh, your own messages right here if you want to do that and I'll show you how to use that in just a second also with answer in place this is basically not going to take you out of the app that you're in or whatever you're doing rather than if you turn it off and you answer the phone call it's going to take you into the phone app and right here we have the color theme so let's jump in there now you have a gray call bar right here that you can turn on as well as a white background for the little toggles right here and the white buttons so that makes it a little more brighter you can see they're a little dim they look a little grayed out without this toggle on as well as a white keypad rather than black so you can see what that does right there so it gives you a little preview so that's nice now this is kind of this is pretty much how I like it I like all black for this entire thing I think it looks better than the default which is with the the white gray bar or call bar as well as with the white buttons so let's go back here and here are the answer methods right here you can either use swipe gestures or the buttons what I have it set to is the buttons the swipe gesture is actually swiping to the right to answer the call or swiping left to end the call or not answer the call so let's just go ahead and change that and then I'll call myself one more time just to show you guys exactly how it works so it always takes a few seconds for the phone call to come in. So give me just a second. All right, so there it is. So if I wanted to answer the call, I would just swipe to the right. To decline it, just swipe to the left. So it works just like that. But I'm a fan of the buttons. I don't know why. It just looks a whole lot better to me. And down here, let's go to the sleep action button. So you can either decline the call if you get a uh, banner up here and it's ringing and then you hit the sleep button, then it's going to decline the call. Or you can just make it lock the device. We'll have it uh, set to decline the call. You also have dialer activation method. This is basically just setting up an activation method for the dialer so you can set that up just like you would with any other type of activation. And you can also turn on or off your voicemail button. Now let's go ahead and make a phone call here and I'll show you some of the things you can do with that. All right, so you can see here, here is the banner, and if we tap on the banner, you can see you have a mute toggle, a keypad that you can pop up, your speaker, you can add a call, you can also put them on hold, as well as Bluetooth right here. So actually pretty cool. If you want to end the phone call, then you can just tap the end button. Obviously, if you have the swipe gesture on, then you can just swipe to the left to end the phone call. So actually a pretty awesome tweak, especially if you're trying to get rid of that annoying incoming phone call screen. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.